Hi everyone, welcome to this series about building applications with infrastructure as code. I'm Talia Nasi, I'm a lead developer advocate here at Akamai. In this video, we're gonna be creating a compute instance with a Linode Terraform provider. With infrastructure as code, we can automate the provisioning process. So instead of creating resources from the cloud manager, we will create a configuration file. The configuration file is an outline of the desired state of your application. And when you deploy that file, that desired state becomes the actual state. The resources listed in the file are, are either created, updated, or destroyed. And these configuration files are used to instantiate our infrastructure. There are two prerequisites for this tutorial. You need to have a Linode account and you also need to install Terraform. And if you don't have a Linode account or you need to install Terraform, click on the link in the description of this video and there's a guide on how to do so. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be creating today. This is a configuration file that uses Terraform and specifically the Linode Terraform provider. In the first code block, you can see that we're telling Terraform which provider we're using. And a provider is just a cloud computing provider that has resources that you can use in your application. So these are things like AWS, Linode, Google, Azure. So all of these are providers that you can use within your application that have resources. So in this case, we're using Linode. We're using this version of Linode. We're gonna have to add our API token and I'm gonna show you guys where to find this and how to do that. And then we're going to create a Linode compute instance. We're gonna call it Terraform Web Example. And we're going to add um, two things in lines 20 and 21, our authorized key and and our root password. So let's go ahead and find our Linode API token. So the way that you do this is you go to linode.com and you log into your account. So here from your Linode account, click on your profile. Under the My Profile dropdown, click on API tokens, then click on Create a Personal Access Token, write a label for it, and then choose Create, and then copy it to your clipboard. Once you have that created, go ahead and paste that into your configuration file. And you should paste that here in line 11 where it says token. Next, we're gonna create an SSH key. So when we create the SSH key, the way that you do that is you type in SSH-keygen-v4096. And this is how you connect to the server. So you're gonna use this command. You're gonna get this message that says, enter file in which to save the key. Just press enter to use the one that's in the parentheses. Um, if one already exists, you can overwrite it. I'm not gonna enter a passphrase. And then you'll get this message saying that it was created. Next, you need to enter cat and then the path to that SSH key. So enter cat and then the path to that key to copy it to your clipboard. Once you see that, you're gonna paste this key into your authorized key in line 20. This is how Terraform knows which server to connect to. Then in line 21, enter your root password. That's the, that's the root password for your Linode account. The next thing we need to do is initialize Terraform, and we do that with a command called terraform init. You can see now Terraform has been initialized and we can start creating and executing our execution plan. So what this is gonna do is it's actually going to create this resource with these configurations. And that's one of the benefits that I talked about when you're using infrastructure as code is that you can see all the configurations for your resource all in one place. What region is it? What type of compute instance? Which image are we using? All of these details are in one place and it can be easily replicated and put into um, different environments, different accounts, things like that. So let's go ahead and run um, Terraform plan and this is gonna create an execution plan of how to create this instance. So it's gonna say that we are planning to add this one resource that is this Linode instance. Now let's run Terraform apply. And now it's gonna ask, do you wanna perform these actions? So once I type yes, it's gonna go ahead and create this Linode instance for me. 
Okay, so now we see that the apply was complete. We've added this one resource. Let's go to our Linode account and see if we can find this resource. So now when we log into our Linode account, we see this new compute instance, Terraform Web Example. This is what we just created. And now we can use this for other things in our application. So you can see that by creating this instance from infrastructure as code, we can see all the configurations in one place. If I wanted to change anything or test something in a different environment, I have all the configurations listed in one place and it is just gonna make development so much faster and so much easier. Thanks everyone for joining us today. In this video, we learned how to create a compute instance with the Linode Terraform provider. And in the next video, we'll be learning how to customize our configuration files with variables. And be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to make sure that you get updated on all of our content and all of our videos.